हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द लर्निंग हब पॉम पॉम मजुमदार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट्स ऑल अबाउट ज्योमेट्री इन ज्योमेट्री 2D and 3D shapes are explained extensively to make us understand the different types of objects around us that come in various shapes and sizes. Look here there are different types of objects that have different shapes and sizes. So every shape has its own pattern and properties. So in these videos specially we are going to learn about different types of two dimensional shapes means 2D shapes what is two dimensional shape a two dimensional shape is a flat shape that has two dimensions length and width 2D shape does not have any thickness or depth Some common 2D shapes are circle, triangle, square, rectangle, etc. Properties of 2D shapes. Look at this figure. This figure represents a circle. This is a circle shape. A circle has one curved line. it has no corners or edges a circle has a center here o is the center of this circle now look here the distance from the center to the outer line of the circle is called radius radius o p is radius here op is radius example of the circle are coin bangle clock wheel etc these all are circle in shape look at this figure this figure represents a triangle So this is a triangle shape. A triangle has three sides. One side, two sides and three sides. And there are three vertices in a triangle. Children do you know what is side and what are vertices? Let's know. The line that joins two vertices in a 2D shape is called a side. In other words, side means the line that connects two points of a 2D shape. Now, what are vertices in shapes? Vertices is a plural form of vertex. A vertex is a point where two or more lines or edges meet so here a b and c are vertices so there are three vertices in a triangle shape vertices are sometimes called corners now its sides are ab bc and ca the sides of a triangle may or may not be equal Now example of triangle shape in real life like a temple flag sandwich a piece of pizza etc Look at this figure this figure represents a square so this is a square shape a square has four sides four vertices and two diagonals Its vertices are A, B, C, and D. Its sides are AB, BC, CD, and DA. All the sides of a square are equal. So here, 
AB is equals to BC is equals to CD is equals to DA. So this is a square and square has four equal sides, four vertices and two diagonals. BD is a diagonal of this square. BD is the diagonal of this square and the another diagonal of this square is AC. AC. Now let's see some examples of square shape in real life such as biscuit, handkerchief, carom board, etc. Next figure represents a rectangle. So this is a rectangle shape. Which shape is this? Rectangle. It has four sides but the opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. Like here AD is equals to BC and AB is equals to DC. So rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four and the opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. The longer side of the rectangle is called length and the shorter side of the rectangle is called width. Rectangle has also two diagonals, BD and AC. It has four vertices like A, B, C and D. So this is a rectangle shape. It has four sides but the opposite sides are equal and the longer side of the rectangle is called length and the shorter side of the rectangle is called with. Now example, TV, door, doormat, etc. are example of the rectangle shape. Let's learn how to form and draw 2D shapes. Different shapes can be made with the help of mass sticks, candy sticks, paper folding, different things or a thread. So let's dive into the activity. Children, look here. This is a squared paper and we can form different types of shapes with the help of this paper. So let's see. Children, look here. This is a geo board. We can draw different types of shapes by using this geo board. So let's see. Now it's time to revise. Look at the figure. This figure has been drawn by different shapes. You need to count and fill in the blanks. So let's count how many circles, triangles, squares and rectangles are there in this figure. First circles. 
How many circles are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So there are four circles. Let's write. Next, triangles. How many triangles are there? Let's count. One, two. So there are two triangles. Next, squares. How many squares are there? Let's count. One, two, and three. So there are three squares. Next, rectangle. Find out how many rectangles are there. One, two, then three. So there are three rectangles. So let's write. Well done! Hope you had a great time with me. If you found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching video. Bye-bye!